do not click that link and purchase anything do these five steps that i told you first to welcome guys my name is nunubuki if you are new here please subscribe and relax get your pen and paper ready because i am going to show you five ways to know if an online vendor is legit or a scam we all know that online shopping is a new form of shopping and every business now is online even if they are physical walk-ins there is also an online stop and for this video I am going to be using Instagram as our case study and I'm going to tell you guys the steps I take before I go ahead to buy something from an online vendor vendor on Instagram do your research do not see a product and just go in the DM and like I want this product how much pay and then expect it to come no I'm going to break it down into five steps to do your research and number one is who is behind this brand who is behind this online shop like who runs it who is the person posting because the truth is scammers do not reveal their identity they do not because they do not want to be caught right so you should go ahead and ask yourself who is running this page look many legit instagram or online vendors they actually always tag themselves that is their personal instagram page they actually always tag it on their bio and online shops are always held accountable by their customers if there is actually someone that says, look, this is me. I am booking Nunu and I am the owner of Nunu's skincare brand. This is my page, so on and so forth. So if there is nobody, if you cannot locate the owner, either through their own personal Instagram page or even on the business page, if there is no sign of a human being that runs that page, there is a, there is a hundred percent probability that that page is actually a scam number two is internet images the pictures of the product that they sell if it's only gotten from the internet there is a probability that that skincare or whatever store you are buying from there is a probability that it's a scam why because most vendors they always show you the product first hand they always show the product first hand that this is what we have this is what we are selling but most if you notice most scam pages they never actually show you a first hand product they always show you images of the product gotten from online google or wherever wherever they get their images from in a situation where they tell you that it's a pre-order because pre-orders also happen and most of the times when the vendor says it's a pre-order they do not actually have the product with them there. They have to order it first. If you are actually selling based on pre-orders, a vendor should always have previous evidence of orders she has carried out, he or she has carried out in the past. But if they do not have evidence on their page of successful pre-orders, just know that it's a scam because there is no way you want to sell a product to that out actually advertising the actual product in real life on your page how will people actually trust you and now for number three is little or sketchy reviews so you go to a page there is somebody behind the brand good and they had the they they post the real life pictures of their products right now you have to know the review because getting scammed is not when you it's not only when you pay for money and you don't get your product it's also when you pay for a product and you what i got versus what i ordered versus what i got it's also scam so how do you know that what you want to buy is actually good and is legit the reviews is one of the ways and one of the ways to know genuine reviews is through the comment section through the conversation look there are so many online vendors that are not legit and they end up deleting comments so in a situation where you see so many likes but not even one two three over five comments that's a little bit sketchy 
that's the truth it's a little bit sketchy i mean if you have 1500 followers and not one of those your many followers are even commenting how much when are you restocking there is no tangible comment or review in the comment section it's a little bit sketchy that you have good reviews on your story on your timeline or your highlights but on your comment section is something different so always check the review a little recap so number one i said who is behind this brand but two i said internet images that is if you derive if they derive their products pictures of their products mainly from internet then it's a probability that they do not even have the product first hand and number three was check the reviews sketchy reviews or no reviews at all now for number four our number four is going to be low engagement this can be related to the sketchy reviews too because low engagement like like i said in the previous point how do you have so many followers when no one no one none engages with your post there was one time i stumbled upon 1000 and 1800 likes on a post but there was no comment i mean if that much people can like a post one at least 10 people should comment or 20 at least if you have that much likes and followers but there is no comment at all so that is a little bit sketchy that's something you should watch out for if no one is relating then it's it's bad vibes it's bad vibes going to our last point no address i don't know how to explain for you to understand you no know it's an online shop so there is no physical there is always no physical store and for for situations where there is a physical store they actually put the address for you to be able to locate them if you want to come in physically but in a situation where it's just online there is no shop there is always a state city state country there is always a city state and country where that online shop is operating from many online shops that don't have physical stores always put an address so 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 state so so city nigeria bam so if you go to a page and you just see skincare shop um hashtag so so and so but there is no state there is no city there is no nothing it's a scam definitely it's a scam so if you don't see any address if you do not see any engagement on their page if we do not see any review or if their reviews are a little bit sketchy if there is no first-hand picture of their products and if there is nobody behind the brand there there is now self a hundred percent probability that, that page is a scam if you want to patronize an online shop next time on instagram just follow these five steps there are many legit online shops on instagram that you can actually patronize and get your product sharp sharp if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up please like this video subscribe to my channel and i promise that i will be giving you guys premium content yes please subscribe like and also comment like if you have ever fallen for a scam please tell me down below in the comment section thank you for staying to the end i love you so much and bye